Hello again. Another vintage haul. Vintage haul? Another vintage stock haul. This is Easter weekend, so they had another one of their sales going on where it's, uh, well, certain things that really feel they have that interest in me is their, well, back issues or buy one, get one free. So this is when I go through their dollar boxes, since they work out to 50 cents a piece. Uh, I was planning on probably not spending more than 20 bucks on 40 comics. I ended up getting 30 comics and a DVD. All that. So it's around a little over $20. First of all, let's get this out of the way. DVD. Um, I looked through all their cheap DVDs that were yeah, it's in a, it's near the front of the store with something like maybe $3.99 or $2.99 and under or $0.99 cents, and I couldn't find any. If it was something that interested me, it was something I already had. So I said, I can't look for Godzilla. I'm going to look for these ones that were released. Uh, they released a few of them. This was, the, I guess, 2004, 50th anniversary. And I don't, I think this particular version is, is out of print. I don't know if they re-released it or not. Uh, they didn't have God, they didn't have Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster or Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla, but I found Godzilla vs. Gigan for uh, six bucks. I think on DVDs there were two, buy two, get one free, but I didn't, I didn't look at too, for too many DVDs. This is the only one I got, so I'm glad to have that. Because I've never, I've, <clears throat> even though, Even though I'm a big Godzilla fan, this is this one I've never owned in any format. Put that up there so I can watch it later. And here are the comic books I got. Um, I counted. I had 29. I thought, okay, that means I can get one more and it'll be free. So I was digging. Okay, what to get? What to get? Oh hell, just get this. Batman and the Outsiders Annual uh, number two. Well, I like Batman. I like Black Lightning. These other characters I'm not familiar with. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever read a Batman the Outsider story, but that was free. So um, next up, we got the new Defenders. Sorry about the glare. This is uh, issue 142. I think this was towards the end of the series. I just noticed now a little bit of damage there. But, oh well, 50 cents can't ditch. I mean, it was when it came out new. It was 65 cents. And this was a team. It was just Angel and Gargoyle, Beast, and Valkyrie. Um, I did have my checklist with me, so I can remember which ones I already had. And um, I found Captain Marvel, you, yeah, number 11. This has Genesis. Of course, there's the old Captain Marvel there. Um, really good series by Peter David, and this one has artwork by uh, Jim Starlin, one of my favorite uh, writers and artists. Uh, so I have almost this entire series. Picked this up. And, well, we got two stories in one. First, the first thing that caught my eye is Son of Satan. But Okay, definitely get that. Team up with Luke Cage. I thought that was like an interesting story. And I was never a Spider-Man fan, but I do like the Hulk. So we got. To, yeah, that should be fun. Looks interesting. Next up, we have speaking of Jim Starlin, we have Dread Star. I I don't think I have these on my checklist because originally these uh, all the Red Star comics I have I was going to sell but I think I've, de I've decided to, I'm going to go ahead and keep them I'll have to get those out because I've only read a few of them um, I, this is 1983 so yeah this is uh, volume one so it's the first Red Star series and I was pretty certain I did I do not already have this one issue number two Um, call. I wish I could have found more of these. I know this series didn't last too long. We've got issue 10. 
And I don't think I have this one. I could be wrong. If I do already have it, well, I guess I'll give it to my brother or, or my cousin. He's a big Robert E. Howard fan. Uh, this one, I'm kind of undecided. I might keep it. I might give it to my brother. Yeah, I didn't find too many old, uh, really old DC ones. We got uh, Tarzan. This is issue 220, the Joe Kubert cover. Not bad shape. Kind of surprised to find that in there. Another one, well, this was a little more recent. This is 30, 30 cents, so whenever that was, in 1977 or so, 76. World's Finest, issue 241. Not sure who the hell these people are down here. I don't think it's the challengers of the unknown. Um, here's one going back quite a ways. 1975 Atlas Comics, Wolf the Barbarian. I think this is issue one. Don't know how many issues there are. I really don't know. I know next to nothing about Atlas Comics. I might be wrong, but I think they did a series called Planet of the Vampires. Something about vampires, and I remember my brother having an issue with that. So, yeah, I've never read an Atlas comic. So, I'm not too crazy about sword and sorcery comics, other than Call, but uh, I'll go ahead and ch check that out. I was surprised that um, somebody must have bought up. I remember going there before this vintage stock, and they had a bunch of back issues of the first John Sable Freelance series. And I was only able to find maybe four issues or so. I only bought, I said, okay, I'm going to limit myself to maybe the first 20 issues. And all I could find from that one was issue two here. And they had three or four copies of this one. Mike Grell's going to be at the uh, Kansas City Comic Con, which I think comes up maybe in August. This one I got from my brother. Pretty beat up, 50 cents. It was written by uh, written by Glenn Danzig, Verodix Satanica. I have no idea what issue this is. Issue one. I don't know how long this series lasted. Like Verodix didn't run around that long. Yeah, he ought to like that. He likes that kind of thing. Death Dealer and the Jaguar God. Um, Charlton Comics. And this is not so good shape. But I thought it was worth 50 cents. Looks interesting. In fact, I don't think I've ever heard of this title. I'm familiar with their horror comics. So here's something we had called Space War. And I can't tell what issue this is. The way this bag. I'm just going to go ahead and open this. This thing is bagged crazy. I don't know what the hell they got here. So I can, this damn bag open without damaging the comic. So tear that open. Get that off there. Okay, we got it. Issue 28. Looks like a you know, just a sci-fi anthology series, different different stories in each each issue, I think. Don't think I'll enjoy it, huh? The, the magnet of Magneto. <laughs> Not that Magneto. Hmm. Wish this was in better shape. Wish it had more. I can see it's got like a stain, a little bit of staining on it. But I went ahead and bought it anyway. Son of Satan, issue three. Next up, I got this from my 
my other brother, Dial H for Hero. He came over here when I think it was around Christmas. He had a hardcover, had a, a more recent Dial H for Hero series that I collected. And I was telling him about I used to I bought a few issues of this when it came out when I was a little kid. I might have even created my own superhero and put it in. I don't remember what the heck it was. Adventure Comics presents Heroes for Hire issue. Can't see it because I got a sticker. I got a sticker over it. 480? I didn't even realize Adventure Comics ran out long. Um, the robotic title Jaguar God. Got this one for myself. My brother already has all these. Issue 3. Cool. That's a Simon Bisley cover on that one. Another new Defenders, we got uh, Moon Dragon. I didn't realize Moon Dragon was not was a Defender. That's issue 138. I've been uh, currently I'm reading Essential Defenders Volume 1. Uh, and now I got this. I don't know. The cover looks kind of... This is Marvel Zombies 2, issue 1. The cover looks familiar. But I don't think I have it. I could be wrong. So I look at the story, and the story... I don't know. If it turns out I already have this one, I'll go ahead and give this to my brother. I might have it, I'm not sure. We'll have to set, the, set that aside. And uh, take out that call comment, because I want to look and see if I already have those. Next up, so an old one I remember. Plop! That's issue. I can't tell what issue is because they put the damn sticker over it. Freaking annoying. Issue 10. Which are called Beats Flegal. Oh, here is on the back too. I think that says Basil Wolverton. First of all, I thought it said Bernie Wrights. Here we got issue one. I don't know what issue it is. Bear with me. Issue 65, Jonah Hex. This is the only Jonah Hex comic I could find there. First of all, I was going to pass on this because. I found an issue that had, that had staining on the cover, then I found another copy of it in better shape. We have Brightest Day Aftermath, The Search for Swamp Thing. This is issue three, three. so I guess I need to get issue two. I believe this, this is a continuation, continuation of uh, the end of uh, the Brightest Day series. Swamp Thing, Dead Man, John Constantine. I don't know why they, did, they made the decision to put uh, John Constantine more in the... Uh, Take him out of the Vertigo universe and put him in the DC universe. Here's what I was surprised to find. We got Superman, issue 338. This is a comic book that, uh, when this was first released, I th I'm thinking 1978, maybe 1979, I walked up to 7-Eleven and I bought this, uh, I walked up there with my brother and I bought this brand new when it first came out, and so now it, I don't know what ever happened to it. So I'm glad to have this again. This is, <coughs> excuse me, he's got Supergirl. He's restoring the uh, bottle city of Candor. Got the Adventures of Supergirl issue 21. I just thought it looked like an interesting story. I like that cover. It's got like a ghost on it. I think these last ones here are all Shazam. We got Powers of Shazam issue 47. Okay. Powers of Shazam, Shazam number issue 37.
Power of Shazam is flying in outer space. Issue 15. Got Power of Shazam issue 14. Captain Marvel Jr. Power Shazam issue 11. Power Shazam issue 2. And I can cross these off my checklist. Trials of Shazam issue 4. Trials of Shazam issue 11. And that's that for this vintage stock haul. Probably go there again. I imagine we'll have free comic today. In May, they'll have, have the same deal, so I'll try to go a different one this time. You know, try to go, there's, there's one or two in Johnson County I've never been to. Anyway, that's it for this time, this video. Thank you for watching.